When Anakin Skywalker fell to the dark side and launched a brutal attack on the Jedi Temple, he sought to commit as much violence and cruelty as possible, since Palpatine had assured him that it was the only way to become strong enough in the dark side to save Padme. Thus, Anakin returned to the temple not as a Jedi Knight, but as the Sith Lord Darth Vader, murdering countless men, women, and children. It wouldn't be until later that Obi-Wan and Yoda discovered that Anakin was the perpetrator of the attack, viewing security footage of his dark deeds with their own eyes. Obi-Wan, already reeling from the loss of so many Jedi, was forced to witness his own apprentice kill younglings and bow to the reigning Sith Master. So what was Obi-Wan thinking as he watched that footage? How did Anakin's heinous actions make him feel? Luckily, the novelization of Revenge of the Sith reveals this in one of the most emotional and heartbreaking moments of the entire saga. Obi-Wan was already emotionally distraught before he and Yoda returned to Coruscant. Although he was a Jedi Master, he struggled to control his feelings of grief and sadness after the Jedi Order fell. His hands shook uncontrollably, and just looking at Yoda's Jedi robes reminded him of his friends that had been killed. Obi-Wan believed that Anakin must have died alongside Mace Windu at the Jedi Temple, meaning that his oath to Qui-Gon had died as well. The Jedi Order had become ashes and dust, 25,000 years of history wiped from existence in a single day. All the dreams, promises, and children destroyed. But Yoda had chastised him to control himself, reminding him that they were still Jedi, even if they were the last. Thus, when they arrived at the Jedi Temple and Obi-Wan found the bodies of younglings bearing wounds from a lightsaber, his determination to discover the murderer's identity strengthened. In the main holocom center of the temple, Obi-Wan recalibrated the emergency signal, warning all Jedi to run and hide. It was all that could be done for any surviving Jedi a warning to give them a chance. Obi-Wan turned from the recall beacon to the internal security scans and knew he had to find out exactly what he was warning them against. Yoda attempted to stop him from viewing the footage, but Obi-Wan felt that he had to see it for himself, even if he already knew what he would find. Knowing was one thing and seeing was another. If seeing would cause him pain, then it was pain that he had earned and he wouldn't hide from it. He was not afraid to view the footage, though Yoda said that he should be. Stone-faced, Obi-Wan watched younglings run into the room, fleeing a storm of blaster fire. He watched Sin Dralig and a pair of Padawans back into the scene, their blades whirling, cutting down advancing clone troopers with deflected bolts. He watched a lightsaber blade flick into the shot, cutting down the first Padawan and then the other. He watched the brisk stride of a caped figure who hacked through Dralig's shoulder, then stood aside as the old Jedi fell dying to let the clones blast the children to shreds. Obi-Wan's expression never flickered. He opened himself to what he was about to see. He was prepared and centered and trusting in the Force. And yet, as the caped man turned, Obi-Wan, staring, wished that he had the strength to rip his eyes out of his head. But even if he were blind, he would see the image forever. He would see his friend, his student, his brother, turn and kneel in front of a Dark Lord of the Sith. Obi-Wan's head rang with a silent scream. Fumbling nervously, he somehow managed to shut down the holoscan. He leaned against the console, blind with pain. In his mind, Obi-Wan thought that he should have let the battle droids kill him during the first battle of Geonosis, before realizing that that was already far too late in Anakin's fall to the dark side. He thought of his duel with Maul on Naboo and wished that he had died there, before he ever trained Anakin as a Jedi. Yoda was not sympathetic to his pain, reminding Obi-Wan that no one could make a Jedi fall, and that Anakin had chosen the path to the dark side for himself. Thank you guys for watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and as always, may the Force be with you.